people are starting to see the change. It's happening, folks. Okay, so here's what's, what I'm seeing out there is people are starting to throw their little social media fingers out there and say things like, why didn't that house sell? What's happening with this house on my street? How come it didn't have multiple offers? Is my house going to sell for 1.4? What's the expectation? And I think what we're starting to see is the change of the added listings on the market. Spring is now. We're happening now with the spring market. More than doubled listing count in the last month. We're getting more inventory. Buyer level still the same, if not more. But the inventory is the key and the inventory has driven this slowdown. And here's what's happening though. Anybody that tells you, yeah, here's what's going to happen with the market, like as if they know what they're talking about, they may have some insight because of history, but they don't really know at this point because COVID has never happened before. That's the key. In 2021, January, we had CMHC telling us that we were going to lose 18 to 20% in the marketplace over the next 12 months. And what did we do? We gained probably 40 to 60% over that 12 month period, if not more, in some cases, in some areas. Burlington in and of itself is fairly recession proof as a market as a whole. And even through 20, 2007 to 2010, our average sale price went up. So, What's going to happen in Burlington? Stable real estate prices and market. That's really what's going to happen. Are we going to see a drop? If something incredible happens, maybe, but we have to watch the market week by week. There's no crystal ball. There's no right answer, but we have to do what's right for you and your family in the time that you need it done. So make sure you revisit this conversation with your agent, whether it's me or anybody else in the moment that you're selling your house for the most effective sales strategy for you.